Giving the look of old films to new ones is a trendy look for music videos and short films that adds depth to the videos. So without further ado, let's open up Premiere Pro to create a vintage look together. Okay, here I have the footage of a man reading an old book matching the vintage vibe we want. Now the first thing I would do, not only in this scene but in many others, is to color grade the footage to have a nice look. So I'll open up the color panel and start playing with the basic correction settings to make something better. Next I'll go to the creative tab and add a bit of faded film like 15. You can see that it's creating a part of the vintage look and also reduce the sharpness of the image around minus 18, which again takes it back in time. Now that we're done with the color, let's go ahead and add a noise effect under noise and grain. And here in the effect controls, you can give it any amount you like. I'll go somewhat gentle and turn it to 17. Actually, it's not enough, so let's increase it to 25. Hmm, that's better. You can now see the noise here. Next, I want to add a crop effect to the footage because obviously the ratio wasn't like this back then. So with the crop effect, I cut around 13% from each side. And now to make the edges look less digital and more film-like, I'll set the edge feather to 13. And the edges are classic blurry now. This was the digital way to do this vintage look effect in Premiere Pro. Now let's get help from a pro cinematic pack with real film assets aka not digitally produced and see what the video will turn out to be. Let's have a look at the pack first. Alright, to try the new way, I'm gonna delete all we did before by right clicking on the footage and selecting remove attributes. Make sure every effect is checked and press ok. Now we're back to where we started. Again, I'll begin the process by dealing with the colors, but this time instead of all that, we simply use a cinematic lot from the film emulation pack. Here I have already added the lots to the creative folder and can easily choose between them. Let me start with this one. And wow, this look is cinematic and vintage. I can play with the intensity and nothing else needs to be done. And then there are many other looks to try on our footage. So it depends on what kind of color grading you think suits your film and mood. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let's set the intensity to 85 and perfect. Just the look I want. You can see the before and after and it really creates a vintage cinematic look. Now I'm done with the color and it's time for noise and grain. But instead of adding a digital noise effect, this time I'm gonna use a real recorded grain from a film and see what that makes of it. Okay, film emulations medium 16mm grain overlay on top of the footage and here it says I should set the blending mode to hard light. So let's change the blending mode and done. You can also adjust the intensity by changing the opacity, but personally, I'm fully okay with that. Next, we need that aspect ratio, and again, the assets from film emulation gonna help us with that. I'm gonna go with the same 4x3 film aspect ratio, but you can work with other ones from the pack. I'll drag the frame on top of the layers, and this time set the blending mode to multiply, to have everything beneath it. And that's it, realistically vintage, much better than what I created with the crop effect for sure. Let's take a look at the final result. Wonderful! This is how you can create a vintage look for your video. Either you choose the digital version or the film version with the pack, you're gonna have fun editing your videos in this style. Make sure to check out the film emulation pack from the link in the description to get your hands on some super cinematic stuff. Good luck!